With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A small circular loop of wire of radius A is located at the center of a much larger circular loop of radius B. The two loops are in same plane. Outer loop have a radius B and alternating current this much. EMF induced in the smaller loop is nearly what? So we know that in a circular current carrying loop of radius R, if the current is I, then at the center the magnetic field is mu naught I by 2R. So let's suppose this is R. So I will write magnetic field at O center is equals to mu naught I by 2R. So it is given here at the center of the bigger loop, right, whose radius is much, much larger. A smaller loop of radius small a is kept, right. So let us draw the diagram of the situation. So this is a bigger loop of radius B. And at the center of this, a smaller loop of radius A is kept. So already it is given B is much, much greater than A. Right? Okay. So at the center A, at the center of B, the magnetic field we can say is B0 is equals to mu naught I by 2B. Where B is the radius of the bigger loop. Right? Now, since the A is very, very smaller than A, B, so we can take this magnetic field throughout this small circular loop. So if I draw the smaller circular loop of radius A, so through this loop, the magnetic field will be the same since A is very, very small. So I can calculate the magnetic flux through the smaller loop. So I will write through the small loop is equals to b vector dot a vector right okay so you can see the magnetic field is this and area vector is coplanar to that so they both are parallel so the cos angle cosine of zero degree is one so i will just write this into area of smaller loop is this so you can put the value of B0 here. So that is mu0 i by 2b into pi a square. Now if you see the question in the question, the a is alternating. i is i0 cos omega t, right? So I will put the value of i here. So I will write, I will take the constant outside. So these all are constant. Right, and i is i naught cos omega t. Right now, from the Faraday's law, we know that E induced EMF is equal to d phi by dt. So, you can just differentiate this expression with uh, uh, putting a negative sign outside. Right, so all the quantity are constant. I am taking them like these are these all are constant. And uh, the differentiation of cos is minus sine omega t and minus sine is here also. So I will write plus with a plus sign. So this will be the magnetic flux changing rate. And magnetic flux changing rate is equal to the induced EMF. Simple. So what we have done, if you see, we found the magnetic field at the center of the bigger loop. And we took that magnetic field filled through the smaller loop whole area since this area is very small since a is very very small right so we know that the through whole area of the smaller loop the magnetic field is this only which we calculated at the center of the bigger loop and we calculated the flux and we just differentiated that and we got this as the answer now you can see the question again this was our question and uh, we calculated that this right and um, this is equals to mu naught pi a square pi 2b i naught omega sine omega t so the answer here will be 
this four. Simple. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.